the, the causes of human suffering, since you brought it up, are brought up in Eastern wisdom traditions as, number one, you suffer because you don't know who you are. You confuse yourself with your body-mind experience. Number two, you grasp and cling at experiences which are evanescent and transitory and dreamlike. You say, what happened to your childhood? It's over. What happened to yesterday? It's over. What happened to five minutes ago? It's over. What happens to these words? By the time you hear them, they don't exist. So, you know, Wittgenstein, the German philosopher, said, we are asleep. Our life is a dream, but once in a while we wake up enough to know that we are dreaming. So what do you wake up to? When you cross this threshold, you wake up to your true self, which uh, is not body or mind, but the awareness in which that experience is happening. So grasping and clinging at a dream is the second cause of human suffering. The third is uh, being afraid of anything that's unpleasant, pain, abandonment, being treated by someone uh, not respectfully. So that's, you know, there's aversion to certain experiences. Third cause of suffering. Fourth is identifying, which is related to it, with your ego identity. And fifth is the fear of death. Now, they're all connected. They're all the same fear. And they are not knowing who you are. This is the biggest question that humans, or everybody should be asking. Who am I? What am I? Am I the changing experience of this body, which is a perceptual activity? Am I the experience of the changing mind? or the changing personality, because you don't have the same personality when you were a kid, or maybe even 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. What is it at the basis of this? When you start that reflective self-inquiry, ask yourself, who am I? What do I want? What is my purpose? What am I grateful for? Go into the stillness of meditation. You have what wisdom traditions have called revelation, revealed truth. Now, you know, that sounds very grand. I would say just call it insight. You know, meditation, mindfulness, uh, awareness of body, awareness of mind, awareness of mental space, awareness of the web of relationship, awareness with that which we call the universe. It leads you ultimately to the awareness of awareness. And when you discover that, that's nirvana.